From NPR News, this is All Things Considered. I'm Michelle Norris. It can be tough to attract an audience for local government meetings. School boards and city councils cannot compete with primetime TV, cable, and the Internet. So some cities are trying to bring the meetings to the people by phone. Sandy Hausman reports from member station WVTF. Mary Spencer used to be a TV newscaster. Today, she's got a different title. By her own account, she is manager of chaos, the mother of three children and the owner of a calico cat, which wanders around the dinner table. Like a lot of parents, Spencer's concerned about her kids' education, and she'd like to attend the school board's budget hearings. But going to meetings at night is a big sacrifice for her family because dad has to make dinner. He actually gets really excited because he gets to to be really creative in the kitchen. The kids, um, however, are not so excited usually. Which is why she's delighted by a new service offered by the Albemarle County School District in Central Virginia. Hello? Albemarle County School Board. Right now we are conducting a live town hall meeting over the phone to collect feedback about next year's school budget. It's a small miracle. Spencer can make dinner and attend the hearing. She can even participate in touch-tone polling or push a button to address the board. Mary, you're live on the call. Go ahead with your question. Thank you so much, Brian, and the other school board members. Um, It's early, and the audience for this teletown hall grows as a computer dials about 6,000 calls a minute. And with 29,000 households in the county, school board chairman Brian Wheeler says the ratings aren't bad. Well, we would often have public hearings on the budget, and those would be advertised in the paper and on the radio, but it was a small number of people who would come to any budget hearing. By contrast, more than 1,500 people tune into at least part of tonight's hearing. This telephonic approach was first used three years ago when a California congressman phoned his constituents from Washington. The service was provided by a man named Rodney Smith, who recognized that computers, the Internet, and fiber optics made massive conference calls possible. People like receiving these calls because they want to get a chance to talk to principals. They're congressmen, they're senators, the head of a nonprofit association, and they appreciate the fact that they're trying to reach out to them on an individualized basis and get their input about public policy issues. Smith has now done about 2,000 teleconferences, most with national and state lawmakers. Albemarle County is one of the first local governments to give it a try. The school board doesn't do this for every meeting, just for important public hearings. The cost, $4,000, may seem like a lot. But at seven cents a call, Smith says it's cheaper than direct mail. I'm talking seven cents to actually talk to somebody. It's 42 cents just to drop the mailing. And most of those mailings get thrown away. On the other hand, you don't have to waste paper or burn fuel to get to a teletown hall meeting, making this a green form of government for the 21st century. For NPR News, I'm Sandy Hausman in Charlottesville, Virginia.